This is a very cool little boat I have here. I got a little, my dad's little seven horsepower motor that goes with it. Been thinking about selling it. Biggest thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a drain plug in it. So that if it sits out in the weather and water gets in it, oh, it's quite a muscle burden to pick it up and roll it over and get the water out of it. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be cold if I had a drain plug? Well, I went online and I found this. This is a drain plug. And I was wondering, how am I gonna get to the back of the boat? Cause they really should be mounted right in here. So I came out here and I got to looking at this. And I can see that uh, this here, if you pull this away, even though it's got flotation in it, you can see right to the part of the boat that you would need to get to if that had a plug in it and you wanted to pull the plug. And the way this plug is made here, let's set this over here, fall. So I think the way this plug is made here is banjo music playing while the man gets the plug out. You install this like probably from the inside you put this to the back of the boat and you put a, a couple of screws through here and my thinking is if you had a little piece on the other side of here to attach that to and you put brass screws through that and then uh, put the two together one on each side of the boat and put some sealer around there that would be fine and then this would be on the inside of the boat and you could reach down in there and you could tighten that up and your boat wouldn't leak and then when you got done when you got home you could reach down there unscrew that and let the water out of your boat and that way when it's sitting it won't get full up with water so i don't know if i could install all of that another way to put it in would be to put it in from the outside and have the plug screw in and out and come out from the back so either way would work uh, i was thinking if i got this in the right position i might could make the hole in the boat and put that in and drill it uh, yeah, so that's one project that I would like to do, and today I've got the time. Okay then, this is how I'm going to make this work. I went into the garage and the first thing I ran across was this thing, which is an odd looking thing, but it fits, oh, right exactly almost there. So I notched out a hole on this side, I trimmed a washer for the other side in order to shim this up between there and there and I ground this edge down so that this all comes together and then I trimmed two flat washers to go on top of that and I got me some little brass screws and nuts to bolt it all together with I'm going to put it all together with some sealer and then I'll show you what it looks like once I'm finished I'll show you the hole I made and you know once you make a hole in here you're kind of committed to getting it done this little plug fits into that hole just very very snug which is good I'm going to drill two holes on the side for the brass screws I'm going to put sealer all back in all of this I'm going to drill these holes small enough so that I should be able to literally thread those screws right through the plastic and then go inside and put all my other stuff in there on the back side and then pull it all together once I tighten it up that's the plan <laughs> 